guys. So, uh, for those who don't know us, I'm Jaden. And I'm Jackson. And what we're going to do is we're going to record our devotion today and see where it goes. For those who do know us, um, it may look different, our format, because... Because we're on the road traveling. Yeah. So, if things are kind of shaky and Jackson looks kind of weird, it's because of that. But let's begin. Knowing God by understanding anger. Love isn't selfish or quick-tempered. It doesn't keep a record of wrongs that others do. There's a chain of info that's the background of this verse. Here's how it goes. God said to love others. It's such an important command that that Jesus said it's the second most important one. Info in 1 Corinthians 1 Corinthians 13 gives a description on how honest to goodness love acts. Love doesn't focus on anger. It doesn't insist on always having its way. God guides his children away from anger and towards love. So from that, what what did you understand? So basically what that means is that you need to be it's not like so basically like love isn't like something that you should be shouting over like being mad at doing things that can probably break love right right it's kind of you should you should always just you shouldn't just be like angry with like somebody that like you like or somebody who you like want like you are friends with like you have like a relationship with mm-hmm. you shouldn't be like angry with them be mad with them it's not really about like being you shouldn't really be angry in relationships or in like life basically and as it said in the verse in the bible you should never, God is trying to pull you away from anger so you can live in, you can, you, so you don't need to have to have an argument with somebody in your relationship, have to, have to talk back to somebody, like your family, your friends, your, your teachers. Yeah. But, but, yeah, what, yeah, what it says is that you shouldn't, like, be mad at, like, because if you think about it, loving somebody and then being angry at them the next day, is it really, like, does that really make sense? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Right. And when God does, and when you do get angry and, and everything, as we said, the chain is that, he says to love others, and then you um, realize how love, honest to goodness love acts, and then love doesn't focus on anger, and it always and it doesn't insist on having its way. Like when that says that, it means that when it insists, when cause anger always, whenever you get mad, anger always, like when you make it, when you fuel anger. Like, what does that really, like, like, when you feel anger, how does that, like, make it end? Does it end in a good way? No. Right. How does it end? It, it ends, ends in a bad way. Right. And anger, and anger has it its can way. break or make relationships. Exactly. And more likely break, though. Yeah. And, like, that means that the anger got its way, right? Yeah. But... Love doesn't insist. Love doesn't focus on it, and it doesn't insist on that. Love doesn't insist on having its way, which is why you have to make love get into your heart, right? So, really, what the Bible verse is saying is that whenever you get angry at somebody else, just make sure not to like fuel the fire with anger and everything. Instead, make sure that you ask God, like you, because then God is going to be, God is always going to give you his infinite love for you. 
He's going to give you that love and put it into your heart. And then, you know, love will find a way again. So, if you continue to be angry, then bad things will happen. But if love gets into your heart, and yeah. then you're going to not be... Like, so, then people won't... Um, then you won't have to have, like, a bad... Because then anger is going to put you in a bad mood throughout the day, right? Yeah. So, really, That's what... what happens to me sometimes when I get angry. Yeah. And then, so, don't let that, like, ruin your day, then. Because since you're in a bad mood, then it's going to ruin your entire day. Don't let that happen. Instead, ask God to allow love inside of your heart. And then you're gonna yeah, um, reap the con- reap yeah. the reap the benefits. Sorry, yeah. not the consequences. The benefits. Um. So yeah, that's what I. That's what I. That's what I learned about it. So, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful no, day. No, no, no. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. will do for us I just I feel like you can help people to get into their right mindset today and help all everyone around the world that needs your help to get your help and, and enjoy a good day today because today is should be a very easy day it should be very relaxing so if somebody's getting like very like very they're getting like very tense very angry at something that they're doing just remind them that they should always just be calm relax and be and have fun it's not like it should be anything that should be too hard for you and have bad things happening to you today. So, I'm, I'm just, I know that you will help everyone who's here right now, spending their time right now, listening to this devotion in Well, guys, thank you for joining us in today's devotion. Bye. Bye.